welcome to my allotment. This is January 2021 and I wish everybody a beautiful and happy and healthy new year. Better than the last one. Uh, this year we're going to go through a lot of different stuff from zero upwards. So we're going to, when we start to do uh, putting the seeds in, the propagators and the little pots, and I'm going to show you step by step how things are done on a lot of different fruit and veg. And also, uh, I'm gonna show you a few little bits now. In January, as you know, it's not a lot of things can grow. But I grow what I eat. Um, I'll take you down now and I'll show you what we've done so far this year. Come with me. Uh, we, we've done a few broad beans, just a few. Because every year I do many and uh, I've got still a lot in the freezer. So this year I've done very few broad beans. It'll be enough, it'll do you a few kgs and they'll be good enough. And they taste gorgeous, they're organic and they taste lovely. And also moving around, you know, keeping you fit in January, February is good. And uh, next we'll show you, I will show you the garlic. This is the garlic, beautiful garlic. In the previous video, I did show you how to plant them. And as you can see, they start coming up slowly, slowly, and they're looking lovely. Uh, this bit of grass is here because we did uh, stream the grass. So a lot of the bits and pieces jumped over the garlic, so it doesn't look very pleasant at the moment, but we left them there to, to feed the garlic bed. Next, we will go to the onion bed. We got beautiful onions bed here. Uh, they're not planted from seed. They're planted from sets. They're looking lovely. Onion set, you see? Little onion, and there's the onions. Okay, as I said, we are in January at the moment, and uh, there's a lot of bits and pieces all over the place. Wood, pipes, pots. Uh, this month, or and next February or two, we do lots of DIY jobs. We fix the allotment, we make it look pretty, we clean the greenhouse inside and out. Uh, just do the frames, fix the beds, get it all ready for, for plantation for, the, for this year. So I don't want it to look messy, but as you can see, it's all covered and uh, keeping it away from the weeds and other uh, bits and pieces like uh, four by fours, which is the vermins so we just keep it nice and clean that's why we cover them and they don't get soaked in water as well oh, lovely ice. weather isn't it yes, yes. Ice. <laughs> these two large beds we planted potatoes last year two types of potatoes this year is going to be corn and other uh, tomatoes uh, cucumbers other different things cauliflower might go in here we rotate them one year we put them, the potatoes here, the next year we put them on the other side. So every year we swap them around. So to keep the ground healthy and uh, stop the uh, worms and stuff like that and diseases, etc. So this is very healthy to, to move them around the plants. Don't plant them all in the same time, in the same place every year. Swish them around different places. And uh, we got three types of strawberries. One is Cambridge, you can see there. We always uh, put the labels on them so that we know what we have. This one is Symphony. As you can see, it's Symphony. El Santa, yeah, El Santa. Strawberries is one of my favorites because they're delicious, organic, they're really, really, really tasty. And once you start eating these strawberries, I don't think you would like to buy from any supermarkets because they're not the same. These are slow growing, beautiful taste, look good. And also it makes you feel good. It's a nice interest to, to plant these sort of things, nice fruits. And this is my strawberries. Next, can you, can you film the tulips? Can you see the tulips? We've got a big circle and a big rectangle there. Behind me, you can see tulips, over 500 bulbs in there. And a beautiful design, a rectangle, a circle, and a crisscross one. Beautiful 
about 10, 12 different colors of, and six, seven types of tulips. In the coming videos, you will see this bed, how beautiful it's gonna look. And I'm sure you're gonna be amazed. And it's so, it feels so good. That's the first thing comes up in April, May, you'll have hundreds of tulips, all colors all over the place. This bed is gonna be potatoes because last year they were on the other side. So we're rotating them, we're putting them here this year, and probably here as well. Once the tulips are finished, we'll put potatoes in.